Hello guys, today we continue talking about Laravel Eloquent Performance Challenge which started two days ago and yesterday it was the first video of the result of my own result, how would I improve this controller and the result of that was transforming this query from really slow to something like this with count, with average and stuff like that. For those of you who haven't seen the other videos, I will link them in the description below. So first watch those before you come to this one. In this video, I will discuss your pull requests, your options, your results and things that you suggested. What is my opinion? What I've learned from that and how to make that code maybe even better. First thing I want to emphasize that while improving the performance of Eloquent, you need to be careful not to make different results, so different query results, because while chasing the speed, you may lose the correct data, and this would be even worse than that. So for some of your cases of your pull requests, I've seen that you were chasing the speed and lost, for example, sorting or lost some other details. And for that, I suggest that if you are in control, if you are in charge of such refactoring, first you write automated tests. So this is exactly what I did here. And to write automated tests for this controller would be quite inconvenient. So I would have to test the view blade results, which movies are in what order in the table, which may be incorrect. So for that, I transformed the controller class into a service. So I've created a file app service movie service and transform that into a method get top movies actually i forgot the amount is a variable by default it's 100 and here from the controller instead of doing this i do new movie service get get top movies like this one or movie service could be also type hinted here for example like service and I have a separate video, I will have a separate video on how does that work by magic, but let's stick to this one. And get top movies then returns the same thing and the result visually is the same. I refresh, it's still a quick query, still the same result. So I didn't break anything, I just moved code to the service and it allows me to write this automated test. I've created just movie test file with PHP unit test. It's just creating two movies create two rating and then assert the top movies that it's returning two records and movie two is the first on top because the rating is seven and then the second case one more rating to add for each and then the first movie should be on top so movie one is the first now and then i can launch php artisan test and make sure that this test is correct and then I can experiment with the service with this function to not only speed up the eloquent, but also test that it's correct data returned. So for example, one of the suggested changes in the pull request was something like this. And if I just copy and paste it here into my movie service, into this one, uh, then the result for speed would be probably better. Let's refresh the page, we refresh but immediately I see that the result is different and it will be supported by our test. If we run the test, it will probably fail. Expect it was movie two, but it was movie one. So that's why you need automate a test as an example that this person forgot the ordering, the sorting just went for take 100 ordered by just default by ID. So have automated tests when you do refactoring with Eloquent or actually any bigger refactoring. Another topic that I have to discuss is using Query Builder or partially raw queries instead of Laravel Eloquent or in addition to Laravel Eloquent. So a few of you suggested those changes and although in the conditions of the competition of the challenge I mentioned that you need to stick with Eloquent but it wasn't that strict and some of you did perform the task with Query Builder or Eloquent raw queries. It's almost the same actually as launching totally raw query, SQL query and do like DB select or DB statement or something like that. But let's see the results. Is it actually better? And I will comment what is worse with that. So for example, query builder, if you don't use eloquent model, so you don't use movie, instead you use DB. Let's import DB here, uncomment those and then the result visually should be different. So from what I remember, the result is name, then rating and 
vote, I think, from what I remember. Yep, vote as count rating. And if we now refresh the page, it's still really fast. One query instead of two queries in my case, and also four megabytes of RAM instead of five megabytes of RAM. Why? Because we don't store any eloquent models. We directly work with the results of Query Builder and we don't need to store anything in the models as memory. The speed is roughly the same. It doesn't get any better. It's still under 100 milliseconds. So it may be like 50, 80, let's actually refresh. 80, 70, 50, something like that. So that doesn't really matter because it becomes pretty random, but this is pretty significant. So you have less memory when using Query Builder. But why you should use Query Builder or why you should use Eloquent, in fact, instead of that? Because Eloquent has some more features where you may want to use them or not. So for example, if I change that DB table ratings to just rating like this, and don't change anything else. Actually, it's curious. Would it work? Yeah, it does work. And now see what happens. We have 100 models for ratings, right? So we use more memory, but maybe in rating model, you have some kind of eloquent specific function, like for example, accessor of public function get rating converted attribute, something like that, return something. Uh, so this would work if you use eloquent, but it would not work if you use DB table like this. So same thing with casting, with relationships, direct relationships. So if you do want to have some eloquent specific feature, you should not change to query builder. But if you care about only those results that are part of this query, it may make sense to not use eloquent. Instead, write something like this, or even maybe raw SQL query. Another thing that we can improve is to load only the fields that we actually need. So in my case, I load all the movie and all the category. So one of you suggested to change that. It wouldn't impact performance that much for us, but it's still something. So select only the fields that we need. And for that, we use query. That's actually a trick. So you can use query and then all the other functions, whatever you use with that query later, it will be all in one line, so better readability. So we have select of those fields and also not sure if you're aware, you can do that on the relationship as well. So callback function as a second parameter, function select ID and name, and let's refresh the result. So this is the result. It's roughly the same as my option to queries, five megabytes of RAM, because in my case, all those fields are almost the same as full table. So if, for example, I had a case with movie table being like 20 more columns, then I should select only those that I need. Otherwise, I get this number getting higher just because a lot more data should be stored for the whole movie. So this improvement is in theory very good if you have large tables with a lot of columns in them. Another suggestion was to remove that category completely and instead replace that with sub select. So add select, which appeared from what I remember in Laravel 6. So instead of doing with category, I do add select like this, and then I have category name as a column, which I should use here. And then if we refresh our page, the result is 100 models and not 110 models. Again, I don't load the categories anymore, so I don't need to store the category model. I just select as a sub select only the field of category name, which is sub select here. As a result, this number should be lower for memory usage if you have a lot of related data. So in this case, 10 categories is small amount of data. So this number didn't change. But if you have some relationships with a lot of memory to be stored, then it may be useful to have sub selects to load only the models that you need and not load all the relationships that are not directly related to the page that you need. Now let's work a little on average ratings. There were a few suggestions to optimize this one. So first suggestion was to remove the number format and replace that with round. And it's not exactly an improvement, it's just a different feature. And I want to stop and explain that. And I've posted that on my YouTube yesterday as a community post on the community tab. But basically, if you change number format to round, 
then if you have zero as a second digit number after comma after dot second decimal number i think it's called then it will not be shown so for example if we refresh our page now debug bar down c8 but number format would show strictly the amount of digits that you specify so two digits or if you replace that to three there would be something like that of course be careful with number format because it has more parameters and caveats like thousand separator and also those separators depend on the country that you work for the project because in some countries the comma is the separator in others is the dot so be careful with that but generally number format stays with amount of digits that you specify another suggestion related to that is to use not with average but with aggregate and leave that rounding to the sql instead of doing number format here we just go avg rating like this so no formatting in the blade and we just offload that work to the database so with average ratings let's replace that with aggregate it was a function that wasn't really advertised and it was released in 8.13 from what i remember or 8.12 laravel actually ratings avg is the field name here so let's replace that and remove that with avg here and let's see if it makes it a bit faster refresh the page of course i forgot to replace this one as well now refresh and yeah it's roughly the same speed so 60 milliseconds 80 milliseconds it's still two queries still five megabytes of ram so in this case there is no significant difference but maybe in your case that may be significant so you should try it out and offload all the formatting to the database and not to the blade and php finally there were a few solutions that were kind of out of the box or a bit different so i want to mention louis for example i didn't check all the 41 pull requests sorry i don't have that much time so i encourage you to look at some of those maybe you will find some more ideas but louis specifically introduced the cache although it wasn't part of that challenge but it could work so for example in the files changed we have a command scheduled every hour or something and then that command actually what it does updates the cache and by cache what it means is two fields of rating and rating count which are stored directly in the movie model in the movies database table let me find it actually yep add ratings to movie models so movies table has these new fields and they are calculated here in the migration directly and then those fields are used as a cache and you can refresh them whenever you want whenever you launch that command of update all ratings cache it may happen once an hour once a day or something like that and then in the controller you just go top by rating or it could be a scope for example where you just get the movies sort by rating that is actually incorrect it should be order by and not sort by after getting all the movies but the idea with cache is pretty interesting so you can actually save the values for the ratings and not calculate them every time and finally speaking about my personal results of megabytes and milliseconds here there were quite a few of you who have bigger numbers not sure why and it all depends on the web server setup so i work with macbook pro which is pretty fast and locally i have laravel valet as a server so for me these are those numbers but for some of you i've noticed something like these numbers so same two queries and 110 models same megabytes but three seconds for some reason and also a few more examples like in this case 18 megabytes of memory on my laragon server so without optimization 35 megabytes and with optimization 19 megabytes so it doesn't get lower than 18 18 seems to be the minimum just for loading of the page and then another case was 18 megabytes memory usage on WAMP on Windows 10 and then the author of that particular pull request has the same setup as me on Valet on MacBook Pro and his results were let me find it 85 milliseconds so similar to mine actually so it seems like something is happening with Windows specifically so it was Laragon and WAMP so for those of you who are on Windows then don't measure basically in general don't measure your performance 
of debug bar against other people on other machines on other server setups because it may be the case that the server itself requires quite a lot of memory or milliseconds just to start. So measure the performance result not against other computers, but against your own computer before optimization. So this is probably my last tip. Again, I encourage you to look at other pull requests. There are 41 of them, or maybe you have more thoughts what else could be improved or discussed in the future videos then shoot below in the comments and I'll probably try to make one new challenge per week or something like that. So expect like next Tuesday, Wednesday, something interesting. I release and publish videos every day at 8 a.m. my local time in Lithuania, which is 5 a.m. UTC. So you can try to be the first to participate, but it's not a speed competition. Again, I will try to review as many pull requests as I have time physically, but you should not get in a hurry to be the first or the second or the third. Again, the competition is not against other developers. The competition is against yourself in the past. So the more you practice, the better you get and the better I get at shooting these videos because I get a lot of ideas from you guys as well. And together we all evolve. And with that, subscribe to the channel to get daily videos and see you guys in those other videos.